Hello. Okay, so um, where was I on 9-11? Well, tomorrow's the 15th anniversary of 9-11 and I had seen a, a meme on the internet that was like, this is the first year um, that high school freshmen are gonna learn about 9-11 as a historical event because they weren't born yet. So one, I felt old as fuck. And then after that, I was like, I'm gonna make a video about where I was on 9-11. So, I grew up, well, I was born in the Bronx, but I, uh, I was only there till I was like five, and then my parents whisked me away to the white place and suburban life in Rochester, New York. Yeah. Um, so I went through school there. So I was 15, and I think uh, I was a sophomore in high school, and I had a free period, and I was in the cafeteria, and I had a really, really cool disc man. Yes, I did. It was so cool that it had a radio built into it. That's how cool it was. Yes. So I was in a free block with um, my friends, and all of a sudden, somebody wheeled in a big ass TV, you know those things they like wheel in and you're like yes we're gonna watch a movie today and you're super pumped. So yeah, some teacher wheeled this into the cafeteria and it was probably like, you know, a cafeteria is pretty big so I was probably like in the middle of it and they wheeled it in through the door and I looked and I couldn't really see what it was. So oh, I'm getting like fucking chills right now. <laughs> so from where I was sitting, I just saw smoke, just so much smoke. And I was like, what the fuck? My first thought was, holy shit, there's like a volcano, like a volcano is happening. And one of the teachers that was in front of the of the TV just like put her hands over her face and she just started crying. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? So I take my disc man with the awesome radio and I, I try to listen. I'm trying to listen to the news to see what the fuck's going on. And finally, when I got like a signal, like an announcement went on and we all had to like go in our homerooms, I think. I, I couldn't really, it kind of got blurry after that. And it's, at some point, somebody said that there was an attack in New York, in New York City. Um, the school day kind of froze and I remember sitting in like my homeroom and I have half of my family is in New York City. My father lives in New York City in this story. My grandparents are by the city, like, so I start having all these thoughts, and I'm like, holy shit, like, uh, what, what the fuck? And um, I remember I called my grandma, and she answered the phone, and I was like, what's going on kind of thing? And she, she was like, I, she like, couldn't get a hold of my dad. And so I tried calling him, and I couldn't get a hold of him. And my dad's wife worked in Manhattan, so, I mean, he could tell his story better, not gonna lie, but, he couldn't get a hold of her and she ended up walking like umpteen amount of blocks out of Manhattan and he was driving into Manhattan and hoped to find her and it was like fate that they ended up meeting because they had like a predetermined location some sort right but I couldn't like get a hold of my dad and I I wasn't I wasn't really really worried because I didn't really know the extent of what was going on but <clears throat> I mean, later on, you're like, holy shit. So I hear the, you know, the Twin Towers are, are hit and my best friend gets picked up from school and I think I uh, finished the day out and, but I don't think it was school school. Like we kind of just didn't do anything because it's fucking like life changing. But yeah, that's what I was doing on 9-11. And it's crazy because after that, I kind of, always based my important projects in school around 9-11 but not because I I felt some like intense connection to the event like I felt a connection to the event in the sense like holy shit like the Twin Towers like I've been in there like I could have been down there at that time like I go to New York City all the time and it's like whoa but I would write my big projects on 9-11 and I never realized how much I was into it until later on. So in college I wrote a paper on the health effects of 9-11 and it was right when the Zadroga Act was coming in and they were trying to say that you can't get sick from that and I had all this research and I was saying yes you can and I had a whole paper about that and then I got to grad school and I made a whole uh, public relations campaign for 9-11 responders and I had this really cool idea to it was called route 9-11 and I had this really awesome idea to take like uh, 
like medical units and and like send them out to the fire department and the police precincts on like the 10th year anniversary and I came up with this whole whole campaign TV radio clips um, all this shit and I just was always about 9-11 I don't know why just like my biggest like most significant projects in my like academic career have been around 9-11 and one time somebody that my dad knew had come to our house and he had made a video of like a tribute to 9-11 and all it was was like a slideshow of the news coverage but it had this sad, like sad ass music to it and I remember watching this video and feeling so like affected by it because of the music and because of the way the clips were going through and I was like oh my god like like so many people like lost their lives and it's really fucking sad obviously and have you seen that uh uh, that photo of the falling man that was I think it was on the a Times cover I'm not sure but they still don't know who he is to this day it's pretty it's pretty crazy it's just all and it's and now you know it's like I live like 30 minutes right outside the city I go to the city all the time and you get to the point where it's just like you can't be afraid you can't because if you were gonna think about being afraid you'd be afraid all the time every time I go into the subway and I'm like shit like I could fucking die right now that's just how it is or when I go up to the Empire State Building the umpteen amount of times that I do because I fucking love that building I do I fucking love that building and it's like I'm up there and I'm like shit like what the fuck uh, something bad could happen because that's the reality this is the world we live in so I'm gonna go to the New York Jets game tomorrow and it's opening day and it's 9-11 and it's gonna be all patriotic and shit and it's gonna be awesome and yeah America is pretty sweet and New York City is the best so that's my 9-11 story and yeah that's all I gotta say we're done